Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Bigger Fish Files from Peter Turner and 13 Souls Productions. All right, Bigger Fish, what is this? This is 151 videos, that's right. It's 151 videos, 12 gigs, 12 gigs of data. Uh, this was something that Peter Turner sold uh, for a very small group of people. It was very limited, very exclusive. I believe as of this video, it's already sold out. Uh, it was 260 bucks from 13 Souls. And like I said, just a small amount of people got this, but let me tell you, 13 Souls Productions has super stepped up their game. This is insane, absolutely insane. What are you getting? Uh, you got an entire hour long TV show, number one. I mean, what you're watching right now is the opening of the TV show and uh, some bits and pieces that I kind of scrammed together. This was called Mind Invasion and it was filmed exactly like uh, an hour long TV special. Like when you watch this in your head, you're thinking, Peter Turner filmed this for television. Like this was something that was on TV in Britain or on the BBC and everyone watched it and loved it and it got tons of ratings because that's what you think it is, but it's not. This is just the opening of a magic instruction. This is just the live performances to the tricks that you're gonna learn. But he filmed it in such a way that makes you think that it was on television, like the production value, the camera angles, the sound, the background music, the editing is absolutely over the top. I have never seen so much attention to detail, but not just detail, perfection. Like putting in the time to create something of massively good quality, right? Just massively good. So the hour long special, uh, Mind Invasion, like I said, insane. Um, over a hundred hours of production was put into this. So, I mean, come on, it, th that alone was worth it for me. And if you've never seen uh, Peter Turner's work before, I've done a bunch of other reviews for him. Please go and check those out as well. Peter has lots of material out there that um, what he would call freeform mentalism or propless mentalism, where he can just walk up to somebody and create an entire routine or create an entire uh, set or series of tricks, uh, really without hardly anything. I mean, maybe a golf pencil, maybe uh, some billets, you know, maybe a Sharpie, but that's really it. And then after that, so after you watch the special, there's a whole series of these little five minute videos. Now he made every single explanation video uh, five minutes. So even if it takes him two or three videos to explain one trick, he made each file five minutes because that way the upload time, right, for all this data was less on his end, but it's also uh, more consumable on your end. You know, if you ever started watching a Magic DVD or even a video on YouTube and you're like, what, it's 20 minutes? Oh, I, don't, I don't have 20 minutes to watch this, right? Peter made all of these little, little videos five minutes long, so uh, you can consume all of this in a small amount of time. But let me just walk you through the pile of tricks that are included. And let me just say, even though, let's say he does a star sign revelation in the, in the show, right? He's not just gonna teach you one star sign revelation. Like he's not just gonna teach you the one that was in the show. He's gonna teach you five in the explanations. So you see him do one in the special, but then after he teaches you five. And I'm gonna show you some of the explanation footage. I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like when Pete's talking to the camera. So you're gonna just see uh, some of that behind the scenes while I talk. But he's gonna do an apple force where he actually just forces the idea of an apple, uh, something that's in your hand. And he's not doing a fruit force, let's just say that. It's not a fruit force, he's not saying think of a fruit. He's saying think of an object and uh, it's an apple. Uh, there's five star sign tricks, okay? Or five star sign guesses. Then he's going to go through a series of pseudo-hypnosis effects. 
And there's six of those. So there's six pseudo hypnosis effects. There's one called Robin Hood, where a person ends up giving you all their possessions. They give you everything out of their pockets, their wallet, their phone, everything. There's another one called Jedi Mind Choke, where you actually uh, squeeze your hand. And when you do that, the person has trouble speaking. There's another one called Slur, which is similar, where the person has trouble getting their words out. There's another one called the Try Principle, where you stick something lightweight in their hand and they can't lift it. There is an any word at any page effect in there, which is the telephone effect. You can call someone on the phone, a stranger, and then they're able to discern what's going on in uh, your presentation. Then there's a trick called GI Joe, which is a muscle reading effect where the person guides you to an object. Then there's a series of ESP card tricks. There's four ESP card tricks. A lot of us have ESP cards or the uh, Zener cards, right? And uh, some of us even have marked. Zener cards. And it's just a series of effects where you either match the cards that lay, they lay down or that you just know in advance which cards they're going to lay down. Then there's an effect on there called Wish You Were Here. There's a beautiful routine on there called Between the Lines. And Between the Lines is this gigantic um, story. This is that gigantic kind of like thing that you spew out, that you talk to them about. And through that whole process, you're having your spectator make this random series of choices between A and B or, you know, this or that. And then um, and it's really just a whole huge pile of psychological forces all bundled together in and presented as a story. But then at the end, you're able to tell them back exactly which choice they made at every turn. Then we're going to shift into playing cards. And the first thing is he's going to give you six different card forces, six different mental card forces, where you just say, think of a card, and they do, and then you say, six of spades, really. I mean, that's kind of how it goes down. I mean, it, it's, there's more to it than that, but literally, six card forces without a deck of cards. Then you get a behind the scenes uh, video where Pete literally talks for an hour and 48 minutes about the TV special. Like he'll then just go through for an hour and 48 minutes. I mean, the special's not even that long. And he talks about every single little thing about how it all went down. So you get kind of like all the behind the scenes. It's kind of like the director's commentary or the actor's commentary that you'd get with a movie. Then after that, you're gonna get 29 videos about uh, his tips and his advice. So performing mentalism, and when he does this, and in a lot of the explanation videos he's doing this, uh, he kind of has like a little bullpen or a little uh, Motley Crue assortment of other uh, friends, magicians, mentalists, card guys, uh, mind readers, hip hypnotists. They're all together in this room and then they just brainstorm and they listen to him, but then they also offer their advice. 29 videos where they talk about scripting and philosophies. It's just like this glimpse inside of Peter mind. It's how to make the material your own and how to build a foundation. I had to write down all the titles of the videos just so that I remember what they all were, but I want to read them for you. It's uh, how to reveal information, creating presentations, what to do when things go wrong, uh, how to look smooth, how to do pre-show work, building your character, uh, our playing cards, even mentalism. That was a great discussion. Uh, what are the golden rules of uh, mentalism? One of Pete's best kept secrets. That was really funny. Uh, remembering names. Like, how do you remember people's names? Uh, advice on how to do the PK touch. And are you considered a magician or do you consider yourself a mentalist? That was another great conversation. Then there's another file. <laughs> there's an interview with Peter Turner. So they interview him, they talk to him, they ask him questions. That's an hour and 10 minutes. Truly, this is the bigger fish files. Uh, man, if you get a chance to see this or, I mean, you know what I really hope? I, he, he put so much effort into the Mind Invasion show. I hope he just releases that on DVD, like a physical DVD with a physical DVD cover and, and you know, and sell that at all the magic shops. You could easily price tag that for something like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, right? And maybe include just the Apple Force uh, revelation at the end and maybe a couple of the interviews or, you know, do the, the, where Pete talks about the episode, include that, maybe a couple of behind the scenes, a couple of the conversations as, you know, Easter eggs or bonuses or special features, sell just something like that, even that small, even if you shrank the project down 
to that size, I think magicians would still pay 40, 50 bucks for something like that because I mean, it is that quality. And I hope magicians, especially magicians out in the UK uh, or mentalists out in the UK, you seek out 13 Souls Productions and get them to film your next project because I'm speechless. I can't say enough great things about this. I want to thank Peter Turner so much. Thank you, Peter Turner, so much for giving me this so that I could do this review for you guys. Check out Peter Turner. Check out his social media. Follow him on social media. Thanks to Peter Turner again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.